I don't know what's going on right now, but <laughs> I'm like, ooh, best shift ever. Oh my God. Yes, oh my God. What is up my fellow gig workers and side hustle champions? Speaking of side hustle champions, I want to give a big shout out to Hannah. Thank you, thank you so much for becoming a member and supporting my channel, watching my videos, giving me all the awesome comments that you do. I, I can't tell you how much it means to me. If you haven't done so already, please check out her channel. She is an awesome human being. I really agree it so it, I really appreciate it so much. I hope you have an awesome weekend. We are dashing on Friday. If you follow my channel, you know I don't dash on Fridays. Usually I go see a movie with my girlfriend, but we are not doing it this weekend because she has been on vacation all week. So it'll be interesting to see how Friday goes because I haven't seen how Fridays have gone this entire time. Uh, so what do you say? Let's go make some money. I think we should go make some money. Oh, and uh, I will not be using only DoorDash today. I will be using Uber Eats as well. I mean, it is Friday. I'm hoping maybe I'll get some good orders, maybe some certified bangers. You never know. So I don't want to prevent myself in any way from making money because I haven't worked a Friday in so long. You know, I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Um, so I'm not too worried about the numbers because 30 days ago uh, is when I took the little vacation, the um, camping trip. So I know my numbers aren't going to go down from today anyway. So I don't really have to worry about it too much. Uh, starting uh, tomorrow night, I'm gonna be starting to do pet sitting for a week again for my friend, where I'm gonna you know pet sit for the birds and the cats, uh, and this time some caterpillars that are turning into monarchs. <laughs> so it should be fun. Uh, and last little update is September 1st. I think I already mentioned this, but my girlfriend and I are gonna go to King Richard's Fair. I will be making a video of our time there, and we all, we ordered costumes. <laughs> We're gonna be cosplaying. I'm gonna be. Uh, Ragnar because I, I am bald so it'll be an easy costume for me to be able to do it so I got a little goatee right here it's not really there's just a little couple hairs on my chin but I'm trying to like get something going by September 1st so I have like a little bit of a Viking little goatee <laughs> that's not a Viking goatee but you know what I mean uh, she's gonna be dressing up I'm sure she's gonna look a lot better than I am but I'm gonna be dressing up as well we're gonna be Vikings and I'm gonna do like a little uh, video of our time there and try to put it to music and stuff and make a fun video I know not I know a lot of you don't actually watch my little uh, side videos that I do but I know that I do have some people that watch it so stay tuned for that in a couple weeks let's, let's go do some work it's, it's time to do some work and get some money let's go enough talking I just got just got to the zone and we get a certified Uber Eats order, baby. Yo, it's I missed you, Uber. Let me tell you, I'm sorry that I wasn't using you the last the last week, but I missed you. I'm I'm here, I'm back, I'm glad to be back. And thank you for that CV. Let's go! Frank Pepe's, I'm telling you, always comes in clutch, baby. Frank Pepe's pizza, number one. Let's go, let's go. that I carried the pizza bag to both locations when one was not supposed to be the pizza bag. So normally when I get the add-on orders and it says an additional, in this case, 3.8 miles, I figured that would be the second one to drop off. But it wasn't. It was the first one to drop off. So I guess they said an additional 3.8 miles added on to the trip it had me go to lexington like first just a little bit and then go to bedford <laughs> thankfully so the the order said uh leave it at the door so 
thankfully the customer, I don't know if they just happened to come out and it was a coincidence, but they came out and they're like, oh, the Frank Pepe's looks really good, but that's not what we ordered. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And I gave her the sushi and I was just like, I'm so sorry. She's usually when I'm getting an add-on order, it's the second one I just assumed. And she's like, no problem. And then the second customer was really nice too. So seems like people are in a really good mood. I mean, it is 74 degrees and absolutely beautiful out right now. So maybe because people are in a good mood, they're gonna be tipping better. That order took me 25 minutes, both of them. From the start that I got it to dropping it off, 25 minutes. <laughs> it's pretty good, man. It's, it's 6.55 right now been 25 minutes and what was that like $24 or something I'll take it I'll take it let's go Uber Eats you my boy blue you my boy blue oh and I had a couple people asking um I know that Laura was asking uh that uh how do you use Uber Eats I'll tell you this much so I I accepted two those two orders I have declined 10 orders so far 10 I declined eight before even picking up those orders, and then I just declined two right now. You don't need to accept orders. It doesn't do anything for you. Yeah, the acceptance rating will get you the perks. You wanna be like platinum and stuff, but I don't care about platinum. All it does is give you like discounts to places. So don't feel like you need to take orders. Just keep declining until you get an order that you wanna take. That's all I do. The only thing I care about is DoorDash acceptance rating for the Dash now. If I didn't need Dash now, and I could Dash whenever I want, I wouldn't care about Platinum either. <laughs> Yo! Let's get back to the zone and get another certified banger! Is this what I've been missing out on on Fridays? What? What? Let's go! Yo, is it gonna be one of those kind of nights? Is it gonna be one of, the, one of those kind of nights? Cause I'm for it, man. I'm for it, let's do this. orders anymore I mean like I know that that was a large the an LOP but like that's a big hidden tip I, I feel like that should have been a plus symbol unless they're getting rid of the plus symbol or something Woo! that was a $50 order I mean a $50 hour it's, it's 724 it hasn't even been an hour I made 50 bucks crazy all right, so I'm gonna go back to the zone. We're, we're not that far. We're like five minutes away from the zone. Um, I'm I paused DoorDash because Cheesecake Factory was so busy. Again, this is like one of the first like actual nice days, and it's on a Friday too. I'm gonna literally go back to Cheesecake Factory and try to get another order because they were so busy. Oh, and um, I like make friends with people as I'm as I dash. So I, I made a friend with someone that works there and he also works in Sephora. And he came up to me, he's like, hey, can you come? And it's and this is what he showed me. It's a Dasher appreciation lunch. So I can't go because I have a day, I, although I might take it off. I might take it off. Um, it happens to be my girlfriend's birthday too. So I don't know, I could take it off and maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say something because if she watches this video, which she probably won't. But if she does, I don't want to say anything about like any surprise I would do for her. But uh, I might take it off and then go to that lunch. If you're a dasher in the area though, and like you can do that lunch. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it says dasher appreciation lunch, which is really nice. I've never seen any restaurant do that. So, but yeah, anyway, they're super busy there. So I'm going to literally try to go back there and try to get another order. I mean, I am platinum. I'll get it over the other uh, non-platinum users because the LOP, you might not need a, a catering bag anymore, but you still need to be platinum. All right, we get back to the zone. Uh, the problem with being near Cheesecake Factory is that it's by the mall. 
and Chick-fil-A is in the mall. I did get this Chick-fil-A. The thing is, I don't want to go in the mall, but at the same time, it's too good of an order to decline. I don't want to waste my decline on this order because uh, it is a good order. I'm not saying it's a certified banger though because uh, <laughs> gotta go in the mall. I just, uh, plus it's not certified banger anyway with the amount of dollars anyway, but we're gonna do it. Uh, I mean, it's 734 and the mall like closes soon. So maybe there's not gonna be a lot of people in it. I think if I park near the near the food court, there might not be, there might be some spots. So maybe it won't be that bad. We'll find out. I have no idea, but uh, I couldn't decline it. I, I wanted a cheesecake factory, but you know, whatever. We, we're already doing super well for the night, so I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. This is not me complaining. that off uh, I definitely need to get a dash cam because <laughs> I see crazy stuff all the time and I always wish that I had a dash cam I was driving on this road and like two lanes turn into one eventually and I guess some guy didn't like that and literally tries to like go by me on the right hand side when there wasn't enough room, it was a one lane like thing. Almost scraped up my entire car. I'm sitting there honking at the guy. The guy in front of me like moves his car a little bit to the left because he didn't want to deal with it either. Oh, I wish I got on dash cam. I think that's my next investment. <laughs> I'm saying investment because every time I spend money, I hate spending money right now. Honestly, I hate it. Unless it has to do with my girlfriend, I usually just spend money on her <laughs> whenever, whenever I can, because I love her. But uh, if it has to do with like food and stuff, I don't buy energy drinks anymore. Very rarely you'll see me buy energy drinks. So I'm like very frugal with my money because like I wanna, I want this house. Everything's been going into the stock market. So if I have to buy money, it has to be an investment for for the channel. That's <laughs> that's how I that's how I justified me buying the drone. I shouldn't have bought the drone, but. I do get drone shots on my in my videos, so it's kind of like an investment to the channel. Uh, but the dash cam will be an investment to the channel, I think. Uh, I paused DoorDash again. I turned on Uber Eats, but I paused DoorDash again because I'm I'm gonna be passing all of these uh, restaurants that I don't want to get orders from, uh, and I want I want to get more cheesecake or Burton's. That's like the the restaurants I really want to get. So we'll see. we'll see. We'll see, dude, dude. I just checked my my. Uber Eats for the first order that I took. So it was supposed to be $15 plus nine. So it should have been $24. It was $40. It was hidden tips on the Uber Eats too. So that means $40 plus the 25 that I got from that, from the DoorDash first order. That was a $65 hour. One, I don't know if they, maybe the customer changed the tip after she talked to me because that was nice. I have no idea, but it was a $20 tip and a $15 tip. What? This is like one of the best nights I've had in a very, very long time. Man, it makes me kind of sad that I, I don't wear Fridays anymore. Oh my God. I'm like legitimately gobsmacked right now, like, 
Oh my God, it's only eight o'clock. It's only eight o'clock and I've made like 77 or something like that in an hour and a half. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Yo, what is happening tonight? What is happening tonight? I never have, like on my three hour shifts, it's never this good. Oh my God, Fridays are like, oh my God. Like if this is like an order that's like well over $12 too, like, oh my God. Something I was thinking about too on that, on that Uber Eats order, I was talking about how like she might have added afterwards. So my buddy Rob told me that Uber Eats has an option that if you like deliver their food really quickly, that they have the option to tip you more. I did get that order to them like super fast. Like within like five minutes, you know. I, so I don't know. I mean, I did talk to her and she was super friendly and I was like really nice to her. So I don't know if she added an extra tip on top of whatever she was giving me. That was a big increase of tip though. I went from 25 to 40. Man, I don't know what's going on right now, but <laughs> I am like, Ooh, best shift ever. Oh my God. brings me over a hundred dollars it's 825 that means that I'm averaging fifty dollars an hour I've I I think I've only done that one time but it wasn't an average I think I did that I did a fifty dollar hour but it wasn't an average of fifty dollars an hour whoa dude by the way I don't know if you guys do this but if there's if they have a uh a ring cam, like a door cam, uh, I always go <laughs> to show them that I that I've been that I was there and I said hi and like thank you, dude. This is crazy amounts of money. Oh, I've been missing out on Fridays, man. I've been missing out on Fridays. It's a, well, no, I haven't been missing out because I love I love my Fridays with my girlfriend going to the movie. So I'm not missing out, but. Man, it's good money. All right, got uh, the first decline of the night. 13 for 13. Uh, considering the orders I'm getting, I'm not gonna take that right now. So I'm actually pulling back into the Cheesecake Factory uh, parking lot. <laughs> Just in case, I don't know. All right, well I got a Cheesecake Factory, but I'm actually declining this one too. Uh, it's going towards like Medford and I, I don't want to go there. Uh, yeah, I've made enough money tonight that I can sit around and wait for a better order. I'm not concerned. All right, got this batched order from Uber Eats. Uh, definitely gonna take it. It's not a bad order. Uh, I, di I didn't want to decline too many more, uh, even though this is an Uber Eats. I did, did I'm still at like 81% on DoorDash, so I'm not too concerned about the AR. Uh, also, Uber Eats, we got that huge, oh, they just canceled the order. What? What? Okay, so the cancellation notice was for one of the orders. I still have the Frank Pepe's order, so I actually don't know how much it is, because it doesn't say. It's not like DoorDash where they actually show you the price of it. Um, but because of the new cancellation policy of Uber Eats, I actually don't want to cancel this order. I'm going to do it and uh, hopefully it's good. Maybe it's not. Whatever. I've made enough money that I'm, I'm not too worried about it. So let's go over there. All right. So I guess we'll find out how much that uh, order was in an hour from now. <laughs>
<laughs> it doesn't tell you. Um, it was like a two dollar base, two forty seven base pay or something like that. I I am so bad at grabbing pins. I'm glad I live in an area where it's like that's not really an issue. Uh, but I handed it to her because she was like outside. I'm like, oh, have a great weekend. And I didn't even bring my phone with me. She goes back in and I was like, oh, I, I go to like confirm it and it was a pin. So I text her, she wasn't, she wasn't answering. So I had to literally ring her doorbell and have her come to the door. I feel terrible. I'm such a dummy. I'm, I, I, for, I literally, for, I like never get pins. So I always forget to get the pin. It's okay, it's okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, I should have tried the last four of her number. I forgot you guys told me that trick that's usually the last four of their number. Ah, uh, I should have tried that. Darn it. Next time I'll try it. <laughs> Hopefully I don't forget the pin again, but if I do, next time I gotta try it. <laughs> Actually, I so uh, when she wasn't responding to the text, I did try to call her and it went right to voicemail, so I did have uh, their number in my phone, and it wasn't the last, it wasn't the last four of their number. But I still should have, I still should have tried it. All right, for the sake of not uh, wanting to decline uh, another order, I'm gonna take this. This is not a good order, but the thing is, is it's going towards like where I live, so I'm gonna take it as a last order of the night kind of thing. And then I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my Friday. There's no need for me to stay out late. I know I can, cause restaurants stay out, uh, stay open later, but I wanna get up early tomorrow. I need to finish um, filming and editing the rest of that uh, unboxing video that I still haven't been able to uh, complete. Cause it's been raining and I, I need to film um, the other part of uh, like actually having it in my car and using it. Um, plus, <laughs> I made good money. I'll leave some money for the rest of the dashers. I don't need to make any more money right now. Uh, I wanna wake up, be able to have a good start to my Saturday. I like waking up early on Saturdays because no one else is up and I can take advantage of the day, be productive in the day. Cause that's the thing, that's like the power if you've ever heard somebody say, the power of making your bed in the morning, it's true. Now, I don't make my bed in the morning. You will never catch me making my bed in the morning. But there is something to say about making your bed in the morning or having the habits that you do in the morning, like making your coffee every morning. You know, whatever habit you do, you know, it will get you into a productive manner of being able to start your day out right. And that's what I wanna do on Saturdays. I, I like doing that, actually. So uh, we'll do this for the last order of the night, and then I'll see you at the end. Alright, just drop that off. It is... 9.25, um, that person left literally, I didn't even think anyone was home. So the second, the second, uh, I don't know where I'm going. I guess I'll just go straight. The second video after I dropped it off, that was to show you how dark it was at that person's house. That's the first time I was able to film someone's house because you couldn't even see it. <laughs> They had no mailbox, so I couldn't figure out where what number it was. I had to shine my light on what I thought was the the right house to to see what their number was. Now, given GPS, given DoorDash's GPS is so terrible, I could have been shining my light into some random stranger's house and looked like a freaking weirdo. Luckily, it was the right one. Uh so I did the math before. I don't know what I the tip was on that last pizza order. I'm just going to stop here for a second. I, I don't know what the, the tip was in the last pizza order, but it couldn't have been more than a couple bucks. At least that's what I think. So even if I don't include the tip 
from the pizza order. It was like $125 and it's less than three hours, but I'm just gonna count it as three hours. Even though technically this person lives like five minutes away from my house, so I saved a lot of time and money and gas that I would have had to spend driving home anyway. But that means I earned $41 an hour. These are the receipts for both Uber and DoorDash, just in case trolls say, no, you don't, you never make $40 an hour. It's just not possible. Now given, I wanna be clear, this was a Friday night and it was only a three hour dinner shift. If you take the average that I make on an entire day, the most I've ever done for like an entire day was like 30 something dollars an hour. I have, I have never done $40 an hour for the entire day. But for just a dinner shift, it is absolutely possible. Uh, I'm going home. I'm going to get some food, go home, enjoy the rest of my Friday, wake up early, like I said, for Friday, for Saturday. And then no challenge, but we're just going to work all day Saturday. I hope you guys are making as much money as I am or close to it. I hope you're getting lots of certified bangers. But more importantly, I hope you have a great weekend. Try to stay positive no matter what's going on. I know times are tough, but if you keep a positive attitude and you, and you, this is, this is a saying that I really like that I say to a lot of people. If you force yourself to smile for five, 10 minutes in the morning, chances are you're gonna be smiling for the rest of the day. There's some truth to that. I know I know it's not 100% positive, but, or 100% truthful, but if you force yourself to get up, you'll get up. If you force yourself to smile and be in a good mood, you're gonna be in a good mood. I'll catch you in the next one. Mad Dasher, out.